hi everyone it's raquel of raquel's caravan cuisine and today i'm going to be making a delicious pot of red pea soup with beef and pig steel this kind of soup is a favorite on a saturday in a jamaican also this pot is rich real rich thick flavorful you see that scotch bonnet pepper yes let us start the pot this is about one and a half cups of kidney beans about 400 grams full recipe will be in the description box i'm just going to give this a proper wash and add some garlic along with the fresh beef and put to boil here i have some beautiful salted pig till i'm just going to put this to boil for about 15 minutes in a separate pot of water just to remove the excess salt to the boiling pot of peas and beef i'm just going to add some veggies some carrot and pumpkin i said this soup is going to be rich real rich after the pig steel has boiled long enough to remove the majority of the salt now it's going to be added to the peas pot giving this a mix and i'm going to lower the heat to the very lowest cover and allow to cook for about one and a half to two hours after two hours of cooking, the peas are nice and soft. The beef and pig still are tender and juicy. We're almost done. Now it's time to add the cornmeal dumplings and the provision. For a container, I'm going in with some flour, some cornmeal, and some salt. I'm just going to knead this in a very tight dough ball. Cornmeal dumplings should be firm, so try not to add too much water to the mixture. When you're done it's supposed to be looking something like this just pinch off a piece and roll in the palm of your hands and there you go beautiful cornmeal dumplings now give that a mix now it's time to add the provision sweet potatoes are must in red pea soup it gives the soup a really nice flavor yum yes and the other choices are yours we're almost finished. Now it's time to season up the pot. One cup of coconut milk gives this pot of soup volumes of flavor. Run in with some skeleton and thyme, a whole scotch bonnet pepper, and some pimento peppers. Now also adding in some soupy tough beef noodle soup. Yes, man. This gives the soup great depths of flavor. Here now is where you're going to taste and add salt if needed. I'm going in with a Maggi season up. Give that a mix and lower the heat to the very lowest and allow to cook for another 10 to 15 minutes. The soup is ready. It is ready. The flavor from the whole green scotch bun and pepper. The flavor from the fresh killing and thyme. The flavor from the salted meat. Oh my goodness. It's thick it's rich it's delicious just serve yourself a bowl and give god thanks thank you so very much for watching